Hello there and welcome to the Bid of Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Legion I and of course George. Welcome along to the channel everybody and welcome back to the channel for any returning viewers. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you do enjoy my content and you find yourself watching me regularly talking about Leeds uh, because it's fun to do so isn't it and it's something that we all enjoy to do and yeah hopefully you enjoy me talking about Leeds get involved in the discussion uh, down below and give me your thoughts today's discussion topic of discussion is Jorginho Ruta that man on everybody's lips of late of a Leeds United persuasion now it's a new uh, it's a new feature on the channel I'll quickly uh, explain it and which one I'll hopefully be able to keep up with but uh, <laughs> let's be honest I probably won't do but I, I aim to and it's a player of this player of the month award so I'm going to give a player of the month award I'm going to give player scores at the end of each um, game from now for starting in next month so i know i'm aware that we still got a game to play in, in september but i'm doing this video now before the southampton game he is my player of the month georgino ruta um but i'll be giving player scores at the end out of 10 at the end of every match um to average them out and then that'll give my player of the month um this time i've just picked it uh, because i think it's obvious to everybody well, to most people, really, that Ruta probably deserves that award. Um, I think if you ask a lot of people, it'll probably be... He will probably be theirs as well, but he, he is mine. We're going to speak about his month in detail and just, yeah, his season, really, in detail. And then, yeah, and then sort of give me your thoughts in the comments down below on, on Georgie because... It's been a bit of a difficult start for, for him, um, but he's really turned it around. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Pick out a player of the month uh, and, and just give a quick video on how I think they've done and all that kind of stuff in the month and and that. So, yeah, first, obviously, September is Jorginho Ruta. Let's see how he gets on at, at Southampton on the last day of the month, on the last game of the month. But like I said, I'm doing this a little bit earlier. Forgive me for that. But uh, yeah, I think it's all Georgie now, isn't it? So look, Jorginho Ruta has had a difficult time since starting and, and signing for Leeds in January. I think he, 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 he has been on record by saying that he, he did struggle with the the big price tag that was put on his head that would, Leeds United paid for him, paid to Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga for him to come to Leeds in January. It didn't really work for him in, in, in all honesty in the Premier League eleven start eleven games, sorry. Only the one start. Did get an assist in the Prem. I can't remember who it was against. Uh, anybody let me know in the comments there, but didn't work at all. Um looked out of sorts. I don't know what he couldn't really find his position. Jesse Marsh certainly didn't know how to play him in the in the, in the few weeks that he was managing until he got sacked. And then from there on now, it was just a nah, didn't really work. Eleven games in all, just yeah, wasn't wasn't good for Jorginho. And uh, yeah, I I never once thought he'd leave just because I think the club pay, paid a lot of money for him. There were rumours that French teams wanting to take him to Liga, but it never materialised. And I don't think. Really, he would have wanted to. I think he wants to prove himself at Leeds, and he looks happy, looks buzzing at the moment, doesn't he? he everything he seems to be going his way, and I'm all here for it. Long may this continue, because yeah, I think a lot of fans are questioning why we spent all that money on him in the first place, when we were giving those performances that he was putting in in the Premier League. But it was a difficult situation for him. He's still a young player. Um, you can see now a year, hopefully just a year in the championship, will do him the world of good. Um, and yeah, you know you see the confidence that he's that he's he's just oozing out of him really at the moment. You take that game against Watford, 
tricks and flicks and skills and all sorts going on for him. He's far too good for this league when he's on song, like he was at Ellen Road on Saturday in the 3-0 win over Watford. Yeah, sending them, like he said, for hot dogs. They were queuing up for hot dogs uh, with the Watford players on Saturday. Get him to the concourse and get yourself a hot dog, lad, because you, there were so many of it from Jorginho Ruta. That bit where he turns that on 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 the on the touch line really and on on that right hand side and he's he's just yeah spinning away from them those you know for that first goal the way he took on their two players and laid on J Dan James you know that third goal everybody's eulogizing about it you can watch it as many times as you want to keep what rewatching it because it was some fantastic little bit of skill even though it was simple skill it was just so late in the game to keep going like that and you can just see the the confidence oozing out of him he's spoken about the the partnership with Perot and they seem to have a little bit of banter don't they and and Perot said he loves how he celebrates you know and he posted that close up of his face after Perot scored didn't he on Saturday and he is that it looks delighted team player by the look of it um but i knew uh, you know, he was a player when I seen him at Hoffenheim before we signed him. I thought, yeah, that that's a player. Maybe we can go for, and then lo and behold, we we went for him. Like I said, didn't really work out for him, but he's he's shown his class can play on the wing or can play up front. It's interesting to see if I've been playing him up front. Obviously, we had the Millwall game as well, where for me that was better than the, than the Watford game. Obviously, got a goal in that one as well. Um. So that adds to it, but it, an assist for him on, on um on Saturday for Anthony's goal, obviously in the last few minutes, topped off a, a top display for him so far this season. Seven games, six starts, two assists, two goals so far. He's, <coughs> excuse me, his best goal scoring, um, record goal scoring season was eight goals from 33 games, only 13 starts for for, for Hoffenheim uh, in the Bundesliga. I think that was a couple of years ago, a couple of seasons ago. Maybe it was, I don't know, I'm going to say 2021 season, but I'm not 100% um, accurate, sorry, on my, on my stats there, but... Um, any Hoffenheim fans would find yourself watching this because they love him. They love him. I think he got their goal of the season last season, even after he'd went and you know the love for him in those comments there when they had, when they um announced that goal that he scored that was one winner was 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 lots and lots of lovely comments for him wanting him to come back. There was rumours they were interested in taking him back on loan, and like I said, I don't think Leeds United entertained any bids for him at all. And you can see why, really. He's streets above this level when he wants to, when he's on it, and he's and he's happy, and he's he's performing nicely. And and Fark is the man I think to get the best out of him. And and let me know your comments, your thoughts on on Jorginho Ruta. Can he better his eight goal tally? I think he can. Uh, two goals so far off off seven games. He missed. The first game of the season against Cardiff, I can't remember why, but he wasn't in the squad. Maybe he was just had a slight injury. But yeah, I think he can he can really do damage to a lot of defenses in this league. Maybe he works his way potentially into Thierry Henry's French under twenty one squad. You never know. He's only twenty one, so he can still. He can still get in there. Big friends with Elan Millier, who's obviously been dropped recently from from their team. I don't know again whether Thierry Henry will have a look at some Leeds United games and and put the t the pair of them in the frame for the next international break. It's obviously coming up soon, isn't it? But he wins my award. He doesn't get anything for it, and I don't think he'll ever know he he's won it. But he he wins it for me this time round. Let me know who you. Give your September Player of the Month award to. Do you agree with me in giving it to Georgie Rutter? Um, yeah, great month, great season, great start of the season. You know, he needs people around him. He needs an arm around him saying, hey, you're doing a good job. 
and, and take it from me i'm going to say it to him now yeah you're doing a good job man keep it up keep it up and you'll get goals you'll get assists and hopefully you'll take us up to the premier league he might get another one as i go into it let's hope he does because that means he's he's keeping scoring goals and and everything like that but there's a few to choose from this this you know this month there's a, there'll be more to choose from next month i'm sure but like i said i will sort of average it out and make it fair but to you know this time yeah it's Jorginho Ruta for me he's magic on the pitch um some real good close, close control and he's also showing how strong he is for me on the ball we didn't really see it enough in the premier league but he's obviously physically a strong a strong lad um, really holds the players off. You can see it. He likes to run at the defence, even as far back as the halfway line on the counter attack, and take it past players and defenders, and picks out passes. Has a good shot on him. Although he has missed a couple of big chances, I think it's six big chances he has missed so far this season altogether. Um, and you can see that he missed one at home, missed one on the weekend as well. He could have had a goal in both those games. But I'm sure they'll come for for Jorginho. And yeah, like I said, I'm all here for it. I'm really happy to see him doing well. Not because we paid all that money for him. It's not my money. You know, doesn't mean a thing to me, really. Um, but, you know, it's just because, yeah, you want to see young players do well. And if he's wearing, well, not just, you want to see any player wearing a Leeds United shirt do well. And yeah, he's got the magic, he's got that quality to really unlock that defence. And like we've said so many times on the channel, and I've heard so many other people say, obviously, the front four, our front four so far this season, in any which way you want to put it, will cook, will cook some good football and will cook some teams in the process. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching anyway. Leave your comments and thoughts in the comments there below thanks a lot march on together i'll be previewing the the southampton game tomorrow evening so look out for that if you want to on the channel it will be there tomorrow thanks very much marching on together i'll see you on the next one